Ah, today feels kind of like a cozy day. Just had to put on my cozy clothes. And today I want to talk to you about getting rid of something that is not so cozy. And that is this super destructive attitude, this super destructive emotion that can consume us. And it's called bitterness and resentment. Hmm. Could be towards your husband, could be toward your boss, could be toward your mother-in-law, whatever, whoever. But this thing called bitterness or resentment, it chokes the life out of you. It chokes the joy out of you. You become just a sour-faced woman. No one even wants to be around you. You can hardly stand being around yourself. Listen to what Hebrews 12, 15 says. It says, see to it that no bitter root grows up among you to cause trouble and defile many. Bitterness is toxic. And if you notice this super destructive attitude bubbling up where you're consumed with thoughts of making that person suffer for what they've done, and you just keep on replaying the offense over and over again, that's a sign that you have toxic resentment. And again, it'll suck the joy out of your life and make you pretty miserable to be around. So what do we do about this? How do we you know, cleanse ourselves? from this toxic thing called resentment. I wanna give you a couple of thoughts here. First, stop hitting the replay button. Stop playing the offense over and over again in your mind. When, it, when you start doing it again, remember these, these moments that I just talked to you about. Just catch yourself right there and say, no, I'm not gonna keep on replaying the offense. And then immediately turn your thoughts to something that you're grateful for in life. As soon as you start asking God, you know, what are the blessings I have in life? What can I be grateful for? All of a sudden, those, those toxic, resentful thoughts just get pushed out of the way. So stop hitting the replay button. Just consciously start listing the things that you can be grateful for. Have compassion toward the person who hurt you because you're not perfect either. They're not perfect. We're all a work in progress, right? And a couple of more thoughts, refuse to dwell on how you can punish that person. Because often we get consumed with, I want to make them suffer for what they've done. So when those thoughts enter your mind, cast them out right away. And then the fourth thing, if the resentment stems from something that's currently going on in the relationship, maybe you do need to set some boundaries with this person instead of just sinking into a pit of resentment. Maybe you need to set some boundaries. You might want to talk to a counselor about whether or not that is appropriate. Some thoughts on getting rid of that super destructive thing called toxic resentment. You got to deal with it.